Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I'm sitting here in our industrial area looking at the chicken coop, thinking that really doesn't work there. It fits, but it's not, I don't know. Thematically, it is off. So I've been sitting here staring at this place before I started the episode, and this is our agriculture area, and it's going to wrap around. We're going to use these slopes for more farm fields and hops and cross back and forth on these bridges and market over here. Lots of houses with, you know, yards and gardens, and this is where it needs to be. So I think I'm going to do something different with the chicken coop and maybe a couple more buildings. So let's grab you. I think you need to be over here. We're, we don't have housing here yet, but eventually we'll build up to it. I'm pretty sure that at least these folks will be able to employ and and uh, and do something with it. But I don't even have to run chickens just yet. But I think it needs to be this corner over here. Um, I think I need to kick it in a bit. I mean, the road's actually out over here. I left it wide for another road to come alongside should we decide to have done something i don't know it just felt like something that i should do this gets into the road a bit there so this could equally just like this so i think this goes or do we make the corner fences line up maybe that's the way to go over here following this fence that i laid in eh, i think that all kind of works Maybe something along these lines here. And what's it look like vertically? Let's make these fences line up. Um, though that's not... At least split the difference a bit. Actually, that would kick the building in to the roadway a little bit and narrow it up up there. Okay, I like that better. So you're going to go there. Any reason to make you wider or narrower? Let's make this road less major. We'll shorten or shrink that up a little bit. You're going to go there. So that's chickens, and I've been getting requests for for the last 25 episodes. <laughs> when are you going to do horses? So, all right, let's at least get the building laid out. But I was kind of hoping to build about, you know, 20 more of these things before we started laying out a bunch more buildings. But let's make that happen. You are in transportation, aren't you? Yeah. So we've got a stable, and we've got a wagon shed to deal with here. I think that is all. I don't know what the horses eat. I'm going to make a guess that it is hay. Um, let's enter on the main road, like so. And let's see. Rotation-wise, take you into something like that. And I'm thinking, let's see, what do we got here? Just fencing and an opening. Okay. So that fencing there is in pretty good, a pretty good position. We could follow that, kind of match the corner down there. It shrinks us up a little bit for our roadway. So something, I guess split the difference between here and up there. So about there? Let me tip that a little bit. Be nice to aim it right into that corner if I could. So what does that look like? That's in a little bit from that temporary fence over there. I'd say something along those lines. Yeah, I think those corners work out pretty good. Yep, that'll work. So that is the stable. And then, am I running? I'm running slow. Where are we anyway? We're in January. So we're building a well, which I think is that last one right over there. And then we've got a whole bunch of trees to remove. So I guess I need to give them something to be building. You are a stable, you are a chicken coop, you are a cart parking. Let's come right back to this. Where's that cart parking? That one. Now, if this is going down, that cart parking is not necessarily going to be there. All right, let's delete you, let's delete you, and move you in to be the next thing they're going to do. All right, that makes sense. You're right there. Because we're still, we have two trees left to get our pigs in. And once they've done that, then we can start working on that building. Then we've got, and we're, we're there, then we've got um, 17 trees left for the next house. Yeah, so we got to come up with other things to work on. And it may as well be, be these while they're taking trees down. So we are on the main road over here. I was trying to figure out where to, last time where to put it on this curve, and it 
I just couldn't make it work right. I thought it'd be kind of fun to be near the school, but out here on these harsh, strong corners, these buildings seem to fit really well, whereas smaller things seem to would seem to work better over here. I'm seeing the pathways all coming in from these houses. Yeah, we're gonna have to fence this thing. <laughs> anyway, let's grab the other one. Transportation wagon shed. Okay, you, I'd say also enter the main road here. Or else you, well, if you entered this area here, what would that do? It would make sense if it was on this road. And this road's kind of wonky because it kind of diagonals in and around. I'd have to curve this. I don't know if it will work here or not. But it would certainly fill things in. It would. That's 12 trees to remove. But it does kind of give us a... Hmm. It gives us a reason for a corner there. I was going to put it over here because it fit really well. But this just might be as wise. There is a staircase coming down. Right there. So i got to be aware of that in the roadway. So we need to step back a little. But it's about the right distance down here for this road too. So it just almost like it's meant to be there. If I kicked you in the staircase in underneath that curve of the pottery. Put you there. I think it lines up pretty good. Though if I rotate it just a touch back down. I can make the road down below look even better. About there. All right. You're going to be there on the back side. So stable and wagon shed and all need a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of trees taken down. What are you? Four and twelve. Okay, so you are next. Did I? You're right there. Chicken coop. You jump in right after the other chicken coop. And then I guess the four could jump in after that. Is that you? No, that's you. Four trees. You can go in, I guess, after the two trees. Yeah, they give some two main buildings to work on while they're supposedly taking these four down. I can't put red X's in here and get these guys to do it unless I want to go through and delete all of the red X's one more time because they do them in the order that you place them. So if I were to, although these trees are already taken down, uh, they were taken down for this one and for the road, but not necessarily in there, right? Right there. Nope, where is that thing? There? There. Yeah, it'll be these trees right here. So we'll have to wait for a building crew to do that, which might as well be these guys. You know, it may shift over from the pigsty back to this crew over here for a while, let these five do that job, and then they'll shift again back to this crew and start working on these jobs. Probably. But I think that is probably a, a more of an agricultural based place with these in the background, the farms in the background. I think it would look better to have more animals over here than to stick them into here with all of the charcoal pits and you know fumes and, and the sounds of the, of, the, of the sawmill and all that. It just, it, it just wasn't sitting right with me. So that goes away and that cart parking goes away, though eventually we do need another cart parking out here. But I don't want to leave that there. It won't make any sense anymore. Maybe it goes in the back side of this one. Don't know. Or this guy's just kind of sitting out here in the middle now. But with this gone, we could then move this fence over and clean this up, make it look better. Like, let's just do that now. You go away. We'll open this up a little bit. Like it probably should have been. It was really kind of crammed in there. Um, in fact, we'll take you out too. And... You are there, brick fence, though making you fit is always hard. Because it never tells you when I can stop until I've clicked. So if I do it right there, no, you're not happy. If I do it, I think it's, the, this little post has to be halfway into the yellow. I think that's how it works. Yeah, that worked. But it left a little bit of a gap there. Oh well, we'll make that work. So you're going to go, let me get to where I can line all this up so you do that but how far do you go i'd stuck you out further before to force people to walk past this and leave some grass along the uh, along the, the fence line there otherwise they'll they'll take the pathway right up against the fence and cut the corners all the time 
So if I go beyond, does it look weird now? Can I do that from here? I guess I can. Looking that one up over there. So if we went about this far, and... I think that looks pretty parallel. Okay, we'll pop you. Come on, let go. And I guess, though I wish that... Yeah, too bad that post didn't line up right. You're going to go from there to about there. Well, maybe we will do this a little bit differently. Maybe we'll get this guy set and then redo the other one until it matches. But you need to be... Like that until it turns red. Right there. So double post that thing. Let's do this. Is Well, first of all, does it look right? Then I can set another fence there to give me a starting point. That's a way of kind of cheating the system here. All right, I like that. Now it needs to start right about here. So alt right in the middle. What is the middle? Looks like it completely disappears. So right about there, and moving. Now that's too too close. About like that. So leave that one, and then I can take this one, make it go away, and build another one from that corner. Now I have a definite starting point, and over to this corner. And if I guessed it right, let's see, we turn red over there. This other post lines up really close. Back a touch, click, pull out. Yeah, that works. Well, a little double vision in there, but it's a lot closer than it was. <laughs> but yeah, starting from over there is harder because there's nothing to snap to. But yeah, that's that looks better all the way around. This will go out to whatever this road turns out to be. We'll make a hard turn right here. So this will go out to probably about here and then shoot across. So gradually it'll start to shape itself. But that does help us clean this area up a bit. We can get another bunch of trees in here to, yeah, blend with the trees we've already started. <laughs> Maybe we'll curve this around now. Actually, we should do this while it's still here. You were an apple and a cherry, if I remember. Oh, apricot and an apple. Okay, grab a cherry. Um... Is that how I want to do it? If we do, it'll be there. And then an apricot again over there. Let's mix this all up. Let's put a cherry... Well... I do have this maple that I put in. You are ash or maple? You're ash. Ash and spruce. That's a maple over there. Back when that was meant to be there. Okay, I'm just wondering if I want another big tree over here that is different. Let's go for a maple. Maple, where are you? You're one of the top ones. So you drop into there, big maple tree in the corner. But it's not in a place that's going to distract from the nice archway. It's off to a side. Okay, so an apricot goes over here. Um, apricot was on the other page, yeah. So there, there, and somewhere over in here, and we're starting to get close to the archway, so let's drop it in about like that. Okay, so in that case, let's do probably mostly apples now. You are right there. So, I guess in-betweens. So there, there. I don't think I can get away with that one. Um... I guess kind of in there. And let's see if we can do another... I don't know. We'll do another cherry. Is there a spot? It can only be so far away from the other trees. You're kind of there. That's it. Okay, I'll take it. And one more... Ch what, what was that one? That was cherry, right? Ah, not going to tell me now. It's a secret. Or do I have to click another place? Nope, not going to tell me. Um, I don't remember the second page, so it must have been a cherry. 
So over here is the apricot. So we'll do you if it'll let me. No, it won't. So I guess we're done there. Oh, there was a blink. Where was I when it blinked? Only up in there. I think I'll wait. We'll let that grow up and see what it looks like. Demolition completed, chicken coop. And I can't, I can't click on that and make it happen. That was here. And they're already taking these away because they have plenty of other construction projects to, to haul to. So that's good to see. So that's going away. We're going to start working on this now. And we don't have any other jobs other than houses. You're over there. Where are you? Uh, I, I figured I could do two more and still reach that market. So you are, and oh, these are tiny now. Um, we'll just do this for a while. None of you. Must be these three? No, none of the, those. Ah, there you are. So you come in next, because you are the pigsty. There's one tree left. I'll bet you they can get that done. Let's just move that over there. And then you are that one. Where's the one in between? You. Okay, and you have one tree to remove. Ah, that's fine. I can work with that, though I've lost you. There. So you can be... You are the stable, and you have trees. You have four trees. So you're going to be back a little further. Something like that. Okay. So that is up and running. And that looks better. It's still, until we get all these trees to start growing in, it's still uh, kind of looking a little barren in there, like a lot of extra unused space. But I think eventually it's going to clean up. It's hard to really see it in the wintertime anyway. But fence looks good. And and I got another comment, there's Dirkachi, about fencing, that we can somehow kind of overwrite the residential fences i didn't know you could do that i assumed that it would just build right over you know right up against them and you'd see both so if we were to grab a picket fence and snap to you and move across and snap to i guess that's the corner right there and then a little further inaccessible doesn't like to play with that huh um alt oh wait there's another fence out here i think it's in the way I might let go. Yeah, it's probably having a problem with this one. But built this one, and actually I can still see both fences. So it doesn't replace a fence. It just adds to it. So you get two different textures there. Which doesn't look bad. I mean, it does help to, to uh, you know, bring the, uh, the appearance of, of the picket fence on both sides of this road. But it isn't actually a replacement. But let's delete you and see if it'll let me do this one too. Um, picket fence is there? I don't remember. Yeah, it is. Okay. So snap into there. Can I do that now? I can. So you can go there. And you can go there. No place is occupied. It's going just slightly into the uh, into the teal there. So let's back off just the slightest little touch. There. Okay. Pull out, snap there. Well, we're really jumpy with the fence. I noticed that last time. Okay, go there. And yeah, let's at least finish this roadway. How far will it let us do this? Now we're really getting into a bunch of the teal over here. I think I'm going to have to stop there. All these, these entrances are overlapping each other. So it's not going to let me do that. But it, yeah, both fences are there, but it does give an, a different look to it. So for that matter, I guess I should do, at least from this point that way, um, maybe it'll let me do this too. Um, where is that? There, pick it, there, to there, to there. Okay. And let's build this one back in so they won't cut this corner. I just kind of did that. And look at how she reroutes. And that will change how the pathing works. This one's a little aggressive, actually. Probably a little too far. Yeah, it is. Let's make that go away. You. Now, I thought I built that, so it took both away. Okay, that was unexpected. Um, grab you. You're there. About like that this time. 
And down from there over. Yeah, that's getting there. I'll probably stop there for right now, but that gives you another texture, another way to to make these look better. Now, if it was a more aggressive fence, like this guy, then I'm sure it would hide it completely. You know, just bury the other one so you'd never see it. It's still there, but if you do it right, you can you can completely mask it. But that fence is awfully aggressive for these little houses. It works for a cemetery. It might work for, you know, the row houses or a big government building sort of thing, but where is that? There it is. You know, this, I thought was a big beefier fence for, for this area, but that fence is a little overwhelming for somebody's yard. That's my thought, at least. So these, these, these kind of houses, kind of a little country look to it. Chickens and what have you. Okay, so there is that. Um... I thought I had sped that up earlier. I guess I immediately undid that. <laughs> My brain says, no, 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 no. So this is a peaceful, relaxing game. Slow it down. And as soon as I speed it up, I start getting stressed out. We're taking that tree down. And it's these guys taking that tree down, isn't it? Where are they at? There they are. Yep. So they took over that job. That's good to see that it's, it's making that switch back and forth. So you're next. And then the stable. So we'll keep it here for two jobs. Let you guys work on these trees. How are we doing for logs now? The danger of doing that is once we get done and get back to just working on red X's, we might have more than 18 logs. Then these guys are all just going to sit here and do nothing until they've whittled it down. Um, charcoal is full. Got no need for it anymore. That might be something we do here. Maybe we move the charcoal into this area I kind of like that oh speaking of this area it was suggested that I turn production off in here I don't know if we're gonna keep this well but we'll do that because it's possible that the brick works or maybe I don't know if the soap works took water but but uh, possible they may be in here stealing water from the uh, from the citizens you guys use water don't think so don't think so, but you definitely do. There are 700 gallons right there, and 100 more. Whereas these things only hold, you know, 300 gallons. So it'd be, it'd be, you know, short order to, uh, you know, completely empty out this well. But I was hoping to see someone running out to go get some water. You're just going home, aren't you? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, so where are we now? We sped up. Okay, the logs are coming down. This building site is ready now. And we need to get a market up and running before we go beyond this point, or beyond this one. This one was only going to grab, I think, just the one building of storefronts, and that was it. So at that point, we're out of range. Um, this guy I want to move. I want this road to be a little more significant through here, and that's shrinking it down a bit. I want it to be like that, and like what this is going to be when this opens up. So, symmetry-wise, yeah, that's going to be a, a significant pathway, just like that one, and I want this one to be so as well, whenever, wherever it does manage to go out eventually. So, that guy was a mistake to place there. There's another one of these going here. Two more. So we've got three in a row here. I couldn't do that there unless I reversed it. But I could. I could reverse it. Just, yeah, let's, let's think about that. Just for the, uh, the, the, the effect of this. Or does it even fit? Let's find out. You there and reverse. Yeah, he does fit. You know, we get rid of the porch. Okay. So let's get where I can see it through the snow. So you're going to be like that, and one more finishes the look. Maybe as they build, we'll stare at this again and decide, yeah, that the puzzle piece fit, but it doesn't make sense. So we'll see, but three there, three there, with a thinner roadway that comes off this bridge into this. That's why this needs to be gone, because I need this to be more significant than this. Um, 
yeah, Dercarci got missed, huh? Yep, there's speed two for you. Once I once I speed things up, I start missing other things. So, Balaklia, you're up in here. Or unless I... No, I don't have two of them. So, Dercacci, you're gone. Balaklia, you are stone. And our stone right now is 14,000. I don't need much more than that. 14,000 will almost finish the game. Okay, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, nails, charcoal, lime, sheep, horses. One of these days, but not yet. Pigs, cows, flour. We are actually doing pretty decent in flour now. We need to go back and take a look at things. In fact, it's February. We're going to do a, an experiment this time uh, with all of our employment. But let's take care of this real quick. I'm running at one speed. Let's get rid of flour. We actually, huh, it's, it's in good shape. It's not going bad. So I'm wondering what is our base number now? We've got lots of people jumping in here to move things around. That's, that's really good. Up to 10,000 apples. There's 9,000 in space left over right now. Um, let's just push the flower to 2,000 just to move the last little bits down here but let's go ahead and get rid of like 600 of it okay so you there flower yeah we'll get rid of 600 and over here flower and what else sunflower oil we're not well we weren't going to sell now that's the end of our sunflower oil for a while. And we have lots of room to store it. You, sunflower oil, we put 5,000 in there and we, pretty much it's all over here. But you are probably about done. Yeah, you're finished. Let's, let's just pause. I want to do this all before we get into March. Um, you are going to just go away for a while until next year's crops. And that'll be determined here real soon when we see what happens here. In fact, what did happen here? You are fallow. You're in the third position. You're in the second position. And you're in the first position. These three are, are a team. So one, two, three. So not being able to sow this didn't cancel its rotation. I was worried that it would all be out of sync again. So you're fallow and you're fallow this time. So we're only going to do two fields. That's unfortunate. Can I? Not really. We're we're all out of red, so I can't really short circuit that and say let's let's do it anyway. Um, there's nothing that takes just a little bit of green and a little bit of blue, right? Now there's a little bit of red and a little bit of of green as the closest option to that, but that's it. Okay. So you need to remain fallow. So we're only going to work these two, but I'm curious to see how much of that roster completely fills up so let's do this while we're paused get this done potatoes do we have any to get rid of 700 and they are sitting over here and i think we'll eat through those long before that bar goes away so we'll leave that alone uh, we don't have any potatoes coming in here this year because that's fallow we should have a potato over here though here yeah, so I've set these to offset that one over there. So there's every year there's a potato somewhere. And every year there's a buckwheat somewhere and on and on. Um, so over here, potatoes, we'll hang on to them until we get closer to harvest time. Um, sunflower oil, we'll just leave it for now. Sallow, this is what they want to buy from us. Clothes and textile, leather, metal parts, horse tack, honey. We're fine, so we'll call that done, get that going. All right, so I want to set everybody to be off in March. Fire everybody. And let's just do this this way, March, and apply to all. And there's no reason why, now March, March is when the cows go to pasture. And if they don't, it might throw off all of the, the cycles. I remember that. It could 
mess up this rotation, whichever one they jump into. If, when they don't do it right as the, the game triggers it. I'm going to leave the horse sheds. But we could take these horse sh the horse sheds, the cow sheds. We could take them down to one person. Like that. For March. Okay, so that works. And then apply to all. Okay, so over here... Let's take all the granaries down. Um, that's easy there, but it's not easy here. What happens here? Okay, we'll just do it that way. Okay, so in March, you're going to go down to zero. These, The rest of these all go down to zero anyway. But I've got to do them all manually. Ah, There's not that many. There's not that many of them. Okay, so... Yeah... Are these already down? I didn't change anything here. They're already set for that. It's just the two over there that are the take from all of the granaries that I've got different. But yeah, these are all zero in March. Okay. Oops. I clicked. Undo that. Okay. So those are fine. And maybe I will do the rest of this off camera. And I'll come back when I've clean up everything and we'll just let this run and see what happens okay well I think I have got everyone at least everyone that makes sense so I left someone with the sheep left someone with the cows the uh, boats don't have anybody there anyway those that are going to rehire in March automatically I just think I decided to let them yeah one person in March anyway so Certain ones will, it don't make sense to fire everybody because they will have just rehired and it will have been somebody that lives next to that, that place anyway or close to that place anyway, which is accomplishing the same goal. But these guys are all going to go away here as soon as that ticks over. The whole area is going to unhire. We're going to get a whole bunch of laborer type jobs done. And I even went through and got rid of the first person at each of the three farms. She's been there the entire time, no matter where it was that she actually worked. You know, the, she's never unhired because there was always one person left on the list. So the other three have just hired. So they most likely live nearby anyway. Though I guess I could tell you what, just to make sure the experiment works, this fresh batch into all three of those buildings as well. So everyone's going to grab a job next to, or as close to, where they live. And I want to see if the whole game doesn't balance out. As everybody rehires either now, like those ladies, or... Yeah, we can even do that here. Okay. Or the, uh, or at the end of March. You. Bring somebody right back into there. Okay. So I think that's about everybody. I didn't touch the school teachers. Didn't make any sense. Um, at least I don't think. Just out of curiosity. You live where? Uh, I guess I gotta click on you. Your home is over there. Tell you what, let's do them too. There, there. There's only three of them. Uh, four of them actually. And I guess we'll see what the kids actually do, too. Do we lose a whole batch of kids, or are they programmed? Once they ticked over and said yes at the very beginning, will they always seek out another another school? So, there we go. Completed the chicken coop, and somebody's angry already. <laughs> yeah, what happened there? White line straight to this house. Anyway... Everybody just fired. I figured these chickens will be fine for one month. So will the cows and horses and an ox died of old age. Really? Now? What timing? Okay, let's pause there. There is somebody that's going to hire up here real soon. She'll be This position will be jumping right back in as soon as everybody goes home and takes a rest and then comes back. So you can ox and can go into this one so that'll be one of the first jobs okay now does it do i know that that's real that i clicked the right place um ox 
Actually, I don't know. The line is still there. So now it's blue. It wasn't blue before. I must have clicked. I must have just missed it. Now you trigger. Okay, now you're relocating. So this one. So we're only going to have one plow. The one chance we had to get all the plowing done at once, and we can't even do it. Ah, okay. So otherwise, these guys are already up and running. We got three over here. And there's the third one. They're all up and running. We have fields over here to sow. No, you're fallow. Wow. That all hit at the same year. These folks are working, though. we got a, a group of them over here. Okay. So that's available, and you're fallow. So <laughs> next year would have been a better year to do this test. <laughs> anyway, that means that they are doing all the other laborer jobs in the whole place. There's a whole batch of them that just accomplished something over here. I would imagine that we are going to see all of the charcoal move to where? I mean, this is, I'm paused right now because this would be a great time to do something with it. But I don't have a... I do. We could do charcoal here for temporary just to get it out of the charcoal pits. So charcoal and 10,000. While we have all these helpers here to quickly get it moved and dump one of these down. And, and they can also get it moved to over here. You are charcoal. Um... Two, four, let's make you 5,000. Though I don't think it's going to stay there. I think as soon as we sell a bunch of charcoal, they're going to grab this charcoal first because it's closer. But same thing over here. We got room, so let's do 5,000 in there as well. And we'll just get that stored up in there. While there are so many laborers available, oh, laborer by cart, apply to all. So what do we want going on there? Uh, all of our warehouses. No worker by hand? But sometimes there isn't a cart available. That's the problem. Sometimes the carts are busy. So, carter. Apply it to all. Anyway. Um, has broken a leg. Thankfully, the doctor's still employed. And we're just going to have to live with our, uh, um, with our string that shoots across the whole place. You are... Not hiring anybody right now because we're not dealing with that chicken coop. But for some reason, someone wanted to go there and they couldn't. Somebody who lives here? Or does that shoot right through the hill and pop up right over here? Interesting. So it was a, a builder thing. There's a builder who was supposed to be over here. And before he did, everybody got fired for this experiment. Now you also need to come back in and instantly somebody wanted to do that yeah, I can't fire the mayor okay but I think that's pretty much every job except for taverns there you can't deal deal with those can't deal with doctors and I wasn't gonna deal with the uh, teachers but they've all rehired so she's now the teacher over here um, he's the teacher over here we got kids coming back your teacher over there, and please let there be a kid over here. Nope, didn't work out that way. But you now live in this place. So I'm hoping is all this rehires. In fact, where'd that counselor come from? You live. What? You live there? Well, that blows my experiment. What the heck? <laughs> I thought that it would be somebody who lives right in here looking for a job and they get something close. Dude, you're fired. Now, where do you live? You're coming from over there. Because at this moment, everybody else is already hired doing laborer jobs. Is that what I'm getting here? Probably is. It probably only works when everybody rehires simultaneously. That might be, because you're not competing with anybody. Everybody's busy moving firewood and doing all the other laborer jobs and jumping in over here. And look at that. Look at that. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's good to see. That's good to see. It, it's not realistic. I mean, we're, we're not going to have this many laborers next year at this time. But it's just, I wanted to verify that 
it was even possible for them to get over here and do the work. But they're doing that. You guys are mostly planted? Mostly planted. Yeah, you're done. Okay. Well, it's going to be a good year for, for crops. We're going to get everything in a lot sooner than we normally do. But with that, we could... Now, it'll, it'll all kind of reset on its own. At the end of March, I'll go through... In fact, we're almost there. I'll go through and pause again and reset everything. And then we'll just see how things how things rehire. That was kind of the, uh, the idea. Otherwise, exclamation points for animals. But those animals had plenty of food and water already. And another animal over here. All the chicken coops. They don't have people working. But we're about to roll over into April. So I will catch you in a in a moment here and I'll reset everything and then maybe we'll evaluate what happened as a result. Okay, well I think I have got everything. There's I didn't go through and turn March back on to all of them yet. I can do that once the episode's over, but I think everybody that's supposed to be hired now is being hired. We're just turning into April and let this thing go for a while, see what happens. Meanwhile, what? Well, I... These should all be rehiring, and that's all happening. Yeah, I've kind of wandered through. I just saw her hire. Um, I refired all the school teachers one more time, and the counselor and everyone else, so that everyone would hire all, all at once. I thought that was the fairest thing to do. So, out of curiosity, where do you live? So, you live right there. Okay. And that's, that's really what I wanted to see is where does everybody live compared to where they work? So you are from over here. That's not too far away. Um, cows. We're still waiting for someone to, to rehire there. Hopefully that happens before too long. Um, yeah, both cows, but and actually that's it. The, other, the chickens got rehired. Now the... I did toss out the one person that was left in each of the cows and sheep so that has not rehired yet um, I did that after it turned to April so there was a wave of everybody looking for new jobs and then this was delayed so that's probably going to delay all of those um, you the ashery we need two people one has moved back into there so far what let's look at the forestry there should be five in all three of the forestries now um, where are you? Right there. This one is not hiring up. The ladies did come back to the farm. I got rid of all of them. They're not really needed right now. They're here just in case that third one that wasn't fallow and didn't quite get finished and the laborers all moved back to their jobs again. These ladies could finish it, but this year it was good on them. Um, over here, this forestry, we got five in here. So this one, these jobs here have had the most trouble getting laborers getting the forestry over here going even though we got these houses it's not that many houses that are close by i think laborers and you know going back to what we saw there with everybody filling this in to come and do this you know of course they would because there were a lot of laborers available but i suspect that laborers don't have a distance issue whereas workers do i think that's the difference here laborers i've seen somebody who lives here to do a job from hauling something from here all the way to here, living over here or somewhere. In other words, it was an extreme all the way across the map to go pick something up, to move it over, and then live over here. I've seen laborers have no problem with distance, but I've seen workers, you know, not work at all. You know, there's one person and you live over here. So I doubt we'll ever find somebody working here who lives over there I just don't think it's possible and so I was hoping with this this full employment reset that everyone would start grabbing jobs near where they live so you that's a farm okay so you live over here so apparently that's possible and there was just nobody else near closer to that to take the job so you can reach there so we'll say we'll use that as a measuring stick or at least attempt to so how do I do that at this height that is no don't touch the edge of the screen halfway through my 
my monitor is about there. So a little bit more than half. So same height. Uh, let's spin this way. This guy here should have access to these houses here. If that is a measuring stick for us. Okay. So you should be able to fill up with people who live throughout about this area here. But these these folks here may already have jobs. Uh, tannery farm. See if just looking there and there. See if there are any unemployed or laborers left. Or did everybody grab a job? So far, everybody has. Market tannery. You tailor tannery. Everybody. Oh, there's one unemployed there. And when he's done taking a rest. He just might jump in. His name is Yuri. So we'll see if Yuri jumps into here, into that slot soon. What else do we have? Smithy Warehouse, Forestry, Granary. Everybody grab job. They, they grab work. That is good to see. That's what I wanted to see. Laborer. There's one laborer there. So we may have a Terranty. Terranty? grab a, a, a logger's job here real soon, a forester's job. There's a laborer, so a Havrillo. And dairy and farm. And unemployed, so Vitali. Yeah, so let's see who jumps into here over the next week or so. See if any of those names happen. And see if anybody else jumps in that's even further away than here. I doubt it will be. You... We're probably going to church or something. Well, you were buying food. Pigsty is completed. All right. So that means adding, well, at this point, adding one job. And man or woman will be fine, whoever is available. It's an extreme distance from, from housing, so the jobs on the fringes are the hardest ones. Did we fill these back up? Filled you back up? Filled you back up? All these positions all filled back up again. Cool. You, you don't have any sunflower seeds. You're full. Just about everything filled up. So we did fill this one. Let's slow it back down again. Uh, you, you're full. Full from what we're doing. I never did do these guys. I forgot all about them. Yeah. You can only come from a certain distance anyway. You're so far away. You're probably all from here. Um, yep. And... Where do I click to get that? You're... From there, most likely these are from here or there. Okay, that works too. Yeah, right there. So those I didn't need to. They they only have so many houses within their working distance anyway. So there was no point in resetting them. Um, teacher came in and a kid came in. Where are you from? You're from all the way over here, and for some reason you didn't go back to school on this one. Interesting. You're from there. You're from there. In Banished, I did a, you know several Banished series. Banished would automatically reset everybody. It would go through and reevaluate after a certain amount of time. And somebody who lived here and maybe worked over there would suddenly shift and start working over here. And then the person that was there might move to another house over there and start you know. So Banished would move people around in houses as well as in jobs. And they would move into each other's houses and whatnot. Or you could, if you had a bunch of houses with only one person living in them, you can go through and, and evict a whole bunch of houses with singles. And then you open them all back up again. And all that were, were eligible to marry each other would marry off and go grab one of those houses and start a new life together. You could, you could social engineer the town in Banished. Ostrov is a little more realistic. They're going to do what they're going to do. They're going to marry who they want to marry and have their kids and, and what have you. So it's it's harder to to get the game to reevaluate where everyone should be working or, or, or living. So I gave that a try to see if it would do what I needed. We, we filled those up. So are there any jobs we've not filled up? I guess that's what's the most important question right now. You are the only one so far that has not. And what does that mean? Let's pause. Unemployment. We've got 10 guys. So there are 10 guys that are looking for a job, but they won't take any of these jobs. That tells me it's because they don't live within so many houses. 
Unfortunately, I can't... Well, I guess I can. You're still unemployed? You. You're now in the dairy, so you found a job. You... There was one more around here that was unemployed. There was a laborer here. You're unemployed. So let's just follow you for a while. You're taking a rest. What are you going to do? Speed you up. Until your rest is done. You couldn't sit in your own bench. You had to go over there. Well, there's no shade over here. You are supplying resources. Unemployed. So it doesn't say laborer. Let's pause and click on you again. Now you're a laborer. Okay. So you chose to be a laborer instead of choosing to be a worker. That's surprising, considering that pretty much every other job in the place filled. Um, go through all the warehouses. There, there, all of these filled. Uh, warehouse, all filled up again. Did the stores fill back up? Yep. So almost all the jobs are filled again. Except for this one. I don't think there are any more that didn't refill. I didn't touch these because we had two batches going, so they stayed. We're full here again. We are having trouble with the salt works. We're looking for four and we don't have them. So salt works is a problem. Carpentry is full. Three, four guys working there. We don't need four guys working there anymore. No, that's that got us through an emergency, but that's not needed. Take you back down to two. Okay, so there's two guys available now. But there were ten available already. Eleven. Okay. And then on top of the twenty that are working as laborers. So there's 31 guys who don't have full-time employment right now. And 19 ladies. So there's plenty of people on the map. There's plenty of houses on the map. There's more than enough people to fill all these jobs. I have no question, no doubt in my mind about that. We have enough population for the jobs that we have. But they have to live within a certain distance of the job in order to take the job. We have plenty of people. That came up in the in the comments a couple episodes ago, and I needed to go through and just verify that I wasn't wrong there. I, I, I know my map. I know we, we have enough people. So it's just a matter of, of repositioning them so that they can live close enough to the jobs that are available or not making too many jobs in one place without enough reach of housing, which is what we're getting into over here. If we start building out out here too much before we get the housing in they simply can't reach that job so this has to be done carefully and in stages and kind of grow the map out to where we're going and now I'm after two major pauses to reset everything twice I have no idea how long this episode is so I'll probably be wrapping this up soon that was the the major goal of this episode anyway but this is the one that's not rehiring and this one and you did finally you live right there okay um, yep you were one of the names that I had had noticed before so you were probably went back to being a laborer and now you went and got some full-time employment so maybe certain jobs out at the edges will take a little longer until they roll the dice and decide yeah let's see laborer or worker Labor or worker? Ah, let's take the job this time. Um, did all of you guys come back? You did. Uh, there's one right there. Did all of the fish come back? They did. Boats came back. Um, three guys in there. Four guys in there. So everybody has come back and there's still plenty left over for laborers on top of it for bringing more of this stuff over. So laborers were also heavily in this one. And there they are. And then they're heavily in these two. But I think we've got most everything brought over. How are we doing on the uh, on these guys? We've got just peas left over here. And peas because we still don't have enough room for peas. <laughs> we'll up that one more time. Only because when we do move over to these, we'll have lots of room for peas. We'll have a storehouse just for peas. Um, these over here, probably just peas left. 
Nope, none left at all. So I don't really even need to have these ladies working here right now. I could thin them out and use them in other places. You have peas. And both of you two we'd want to keep because they were the, assigned to clean out the, uh, the sunflower oil. Is there a way I could use these ladies for that too? I could assign them to clean out the flower. Oh, yes. I've been using them for wheat. But we could use them to pull the flower out of here so the laborers don't have to do it. Ooh, okay. So you are flower. And we'll put... Oh, put 2,000 in each of you. And you as well. Which one, though? Hmm. I don't know. We don't have an empty space. We'll just deal with the one for right now. She will constantly be rating these guys of flour and, and dropping their their quantities down. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, I think I've proved what I needed to prove. There's still the two businesses that are having troubles. And you're just bringing some stuff over. i got to think about you specifically and get you going. Even you, the, the second tailor, is fully st staffed so it just came down to this business that did not like to did not want to restaff and this one that didn't two in each even though we've still got 15 30 28 guys that could take those jobs and for some reason they're choosing not to and to me, the only reason that could be is that they live too far away. There's no other explanation that, that fits. It's the same wages as the, the guys that did hire here. One of them finally took it. So, with few exceptions, there are a few laborers' jobs that pay more. We still doing that with the charcoal? 140%. So we could take you down two notches, apply to all. At that point, you'll probably be even. So it may be that a couple of the laborer, the higher paying labor positions were too tempting for, there we go, that filled them up. And that's the only one that hasn't filled them up yet. What else out here is a high paid laborer job? Anything? I can't think of anything because the, the, the farm is not hired. So this is a higher paying laborer job, but there's no call for it right now. It was really just the the charcoal and make sure that that maybe when the trader needed help, it got it. Nope, that's 100%. Okay, then at this point, I'm thinking it's mostly just the charcoal. So we should see somebody else dropping into here. There we go. So at that point, I'm going to say that pretty much every job but two so far have refilled we have enough people on the map to run every job that we have right now with plenty left over all right so i'm getting down off my soapbox now and i'm going to uh, call this one done and i'll catch you next time folks bye bye now